So in Western Australia, Margaret River is considered great for Cabernet and Chardonnay, Mount Barker for Riesling and Shiraz. Is that really the end of the story? I'm Hugh and Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. Well, no. This wine is a blend, and a lot of the great wines of uh, this part of West Australia are, in fact, blends of those two regions. This one is Margaret River and Mount Barker, and it's the Howard Park 2018 Abercrombie Cabernet Sauvignon. So Howard Park produced several Cabernets, but this is their flagship Cabernet. Um, always a very, very good wine, um, as, you do, as you would hope for the price that you pay. It's quite expensive. Why do they blend Margaret River with Mount Barker? Well, let's have a taste and see if we can work it out. Beautiful color, very, very bright, deep purple crimson color. And the nose gives you some clue as to what's going on here. It's very much Cabernet, very fragrant. It's got violets and cassis, blackberries, um, and a little bit of that crushed leaf character. It's got a herbal edge to it. And I think the herbal edge to it comes mainly from the Mount Barker area. So I think what they're doing here is they're trying to get some of the aromatics of, Margaret, of Mount Barker welded to the, the bright black fruit characters of Margaret River. But let's have a taste and see if it comes, comes out like that on a palate. Yeah, not, not all great Cabernets are big, full-bodied wines with a lot of tannin. This wine is wine of intensity, but also a lot of grace. It's got real elegance to it. Finesse. Long, long palate. It lingers for a long time. I'm still tasting it, but it's beautifully balanced. The tannins are not aggressive at all. Cabernet can be noted for having quite fearsome tannins sometimes. Great, great Cabernet doesn't have fearsome tannins. It has gentle tannins, but they're persistent and assertive tannins at the same time. But if the fruit's ripe, properly ripe, the tannins won't be astringent. Lovely, lovely wine. How do we score it? We scored it 96, which is a high gold ribbon score. And we've said drink it from 2023 to 2041. So the food that we recommend to have with this is Jeremy Strode's lamb burger with capsicum relish. And I think that's a, a really good match. Uh, this is lamb. Lamb is a great thing with Cabernet. And if, even if you go to Bordeaux, which is the home of great Cabernet, they often serve roast lamb with the Cabernet. It's a classic combination. But a burger, well, this is not just any burger. It's a deconstructed burger. It's a burger you would eat with a knife and fork and not with your hands. And if you'd like the recipe, go to the end and have a look there. And very good health to you. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.